let's take a look at how to add and subtract like terms. Okay, well, like terms are things that have the same variable raised to the same exponent. Okay, so we're looking for like terms or terms with the, either they're both just numbers or in this case, they could both have x in them. So notice 8x and 6x are like terms because they both have x to the first power or just x. So since they're like terms, that means I can add them together. So 8 plus 6 would give me 14. So 8x plus 6x is 14x. Notice I'm adding the number part and the variable is just going to stay the same. 6x plus 2x. These are also like terms because notice they both have x in them. So to add them together, well, 6 plus 2 would give me 8. So 6x plus 2x gives me 8x. Okay, 2x plus 8x, those are like terms. So I'm going to add them. That gives me 10x. x minus 5x plus 7x. Well, keep in mind, x is the same thing as 1x. So since we're adding and subtracting, let's go from left to right. Okay, 1x minus 5x is negative 4x. Right, 1 minus 5 will be negative 4, and we're just keeping the x with it. And then I still need to add 7x to that. Well, negative 4x plus 7x that's the same thing as saying 7x minus 4x, that would give me 3x. So notice when they're all like terms, right, they all just had x to the first power or just x in them. That means I add and subtract the number parts and just keep the x on my answer. So 3x. 6x minus x minus 8x. Well, again, when we say minus x, that's the same as minus 1x. It's a little easier to see what we're doing if you fill in that invisible one. Okay, well, 6x minus 1x, that would give me 5x, and then I still need to subtract 8x. Okay, notice when you subtract a bigger number from a smaller one, we're going to get a negative answer, right? 5 minus 8 would give us negative 3, and we're going to have our x with that. So altogether, negative 3x. four x plus four x plus five x. Okay, these are all like terms. They all just have x in them. So four plus four would give me eight. Four x plus four x would give me eight x. And then I still need to add the five x to that. Okay, and that's gonna give me 13 x. Ten x plus three x. Okay, they're like terms, so I can add those together and get 13x. 10x minus 3x plus 5x. Okay, well, let's go from left to right since addition and subtraction are the same level. 10x minus 3x would leave me with 7x, and then I would still need to add 5x to that. Okay, well, 7x plus 5x is going to give me 12x. Okay, I can't do anything else, so that's going to be my final answer. Five x minus nine x plus two x. Okay, let's go left to right here. Five x minus nine x that would give me negative four x, right? It's negative because I'm subtracting a bigger number from a smaller, and then I still need to add two x to that. Negative 4x plus 2x gives me negative 2x. And notice I was able to combine all three of those because they were all like terms. They all had x in them. Six x minus eight x minus six x. Okay, well six x minus eight x would give me negative 2x, and then I would still have to subtract another 6x from that, which would give me negative 